Hi, I am uh, Eric from Strawbees and uh, in this booth we're building two things, large scale objects and great creative minds. So uh, <laughs> we're a construction toy for drinking straws where you can just connect them to each other and uh, start building pretty simple structures in the beginning but then iterate your way forward to complex robots or big structures like this or the space station over there or all the friendly robots that you uh, you can see later. Yeah. Foil banana. And then I like this thing, so the escalate, but the questions we want them to ask is what happens if I do this? Have you ever crossed the bananas? Uh-huh. And then, then it's a pressure sensitive banana. Wow. How cool is that? That's a tiny invention. That is a tiny invention. So we made a banana switch. You so did. this you can have that in your you next thing. Have a banana sensor. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? Thing? Uh, I really enjoyed it. That just came out uh, during the fair in Nuremberg. Somebody was asking me, what happens if I cross bananas? I'm like, hey, let's test it. That's what we want them to start asking. That's when you have opened up. The entire system invites you to start asking stuff. Not only the system, it's just like Makey Makey too. Yeah, and how's that feeling when you... Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, I want to have new friends robots. New friends robot. And this was yeah, it's from the ro the robotics uh, yes. class that I have, yeah. which I is called make a robot that makes you feel that it feels something. Yeah. Or empathy robot class. So um, this is the uh, oh, twist design. But he's a pretty content robot. So cute. Yeah. He's sitting there looking he's for new a baby. friends. Yeah, he's looking for new friends. So can you hold his hand there? And I hold his hand. And we hold all hands. He says, "New friends," and he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> My friends! So he's really happy for friendships. I love this kind of touch. It's like, we can work on sending you this stuff. Yeah. These videos are far from both. Yeah. And like, you see, this looks complex in the construction. And the only reason that it's complex in the construction is because it's an iterative construction. They didn't know exactly where they're going to go. And there's many little accidents. Like this turning of the head is because it's forcing it towards yeah. Because it's a cube, it's no problem. Yeah. So it makes it so much more expressive <laughs> than. Uh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but uh, and they, so this, the only thing it does is like connecting uh, the circuit touch yeah. changes a value for the wavelength yeah. of the sine wave for the motor. Yeah. And that's enough. I think those programs are are enough. Simple. Yeah. Yeah, because it's more about the entire like observing the entire system and trying to figure things out. Like when I say a system, it's a robot, like how do we make it express something? You don't have to go into all this deep, but just one if this and then that is okay. But then we have some added stuff. But another really nice robot project is uh, the robot walkers. Okay. Now it doesn't have any eyes, but... So this is from Robot Race. <laughs> so how do you make a robot with just one leg walk forward? So actually I'm going to make it start, start with it not working so you can see it. This is what we want to teach. So you observe, okay, what is happening? Mm -hmm. Not really touching the ground. We slide the motor down, and then we, and you say, oops, it's a little bit, wow, it's wild, it's like a Bronco. We are in Texas now, so <laughs> and then it's a little bit too much. Yeah. And then you change again. So the constant change, like all these little observations. Yeah. yeah. And then you see if then you can. So how do I document? How do I know if it's the fastest one I can make? You have to document. It. Like, how do I measure speed? <laughs> so all those things are very important, and yeah. I love it. So they can do it. And now it's dropping again. I need to sort the marble run out. But uh, it's examples of it. And then obviously you can change in the code too. So maybe a faster sine wave is better. Uh, or how, what happens if I twist it? Or what happens if I offset it so it's like on the side? So all these questions, what happens if I do that? It's all about testing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if you put ice in, it's gonna feel really bad. But it's just now it's a show it's showboating here, so it's gonna go around in a circle in front of the booth. Oh, oh not that no. So uh, yeah, that's examples of crazy robots that we can build. I like it. Yeah. It works. Yes. It's much, much higher than just putting together the kit and it works. Like I would always okay. give my kids like you have ten minutes to make this work <coughs> yeah. while presenting. There's like several. So, and then we put the tired eyes on, so people feel a little bit bad that I'm using this labor. This robot has been working all day yesterday, and now it's working all day today, and he gets no rest, and uh, that's why he looks tired.
for machines. They always need a little bit of a yeah. tweak. That's the thing. <laughs> That's what makes group go for machines amazing, amazing activity that you never should stop doing. Failure the first time is a true sign of success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't.